So the Hollis Hotel is on, of course, Hollis Street and Sackville Street. And over here is their parking lot. It's very small. Self-parking is $20. If you want valet parking, it's $26. During the summertime, I'd recommend the valet parking because the parking lot is very small, so you want to guarantee a parking spot. There is, of course, another parking lot, a private one, just down on Lower Sac or, uh, Sackville Street. Sorry, uh, It's a lot more expensive, but you can park there if they're needed. And there is street parking that is free overnight, but you have to watch the loading zones and the times that you're allowed to park there. So let's go check out the room. We're staying tonight in uh, 506. On the fifth floor, we have a nice view. And it's a pretty big hotel. I'm not sure how many rooms are on each floor, but I'll show you the map here in a second. oddly shaped corner unit and uh, you have some bigger rooms these two can uh, join up if you wanted a massive suite probably the rooms you're going to want to stay away from are up in this area because there's another building right here so you probably won't have much of a view if you get the rooms facing the uh, Hollis Street here there's a lot of trucks that go back and forth so it's a lot of road noise that you have to deal with so definitely try to stay in this area this quadrant so this is a standard king size suite. We'll take a look at it. Like I said, it's kind of a funky little layout. But kind of cool chandelier up there. A little eating area, small kitchenette, microwave, refrigerator, wine glasses included, and sink. The view is really nice. You're pretty much right down near all the little uh, eateries that are on the waterfront here. And then, of course, Bishop's Landing, where they have some really nice restaurants. The new building called the Maple. This is Sackville Street going along here. This is the extra parking lot that I had mentioned uh, that you can park in as well overnight, but it is more expensive, I find. So the suite has a nice L-shaped sofa, which someone is lounging on. Is it comfy? Pretty comfy. It's pretty comfy. Pretty comfy. Nice big screen TV. Little office desk space. There's free Wi-Fi included, of course, in the hotel. Kind of looks like there should have been a chair here. <laughs> kind of looks empty. But here's the other view. So pretty nice. Let's take a look at the bedroom. Nice big hotel room. So tonight, I think, how much should we pay for tonight? $150. So one, $150 isn't bad. Nice king size bed. Again, the same view as you've seen earlier. Another big screen TV. Inside here, you have house coats, which you don't see in too many hotels anymore. So it is nice that this is a Hilton and they have it. In room safe, ironing board and iron. Of course, the laundromat service. And I do like that they do have extra sheets and pillows up there. Sometimes late at night, you just want a blanket to wrap yourself in, especially if you're sitting on the sofa enjoying a movie. Now, because this one's a corner unit, it does have a very oddly shaped washer. Unique, that's what we'll say. But nice enough vanity, nice and modern lighting. Seems like they have some pretty decent quality shampoos. Large enough rainfall shower. And that's it. So for my own personal quality, I always do like to test the toilet paper. It seems pretty soft. It's not an industrial strength. Sheets seem nice enough. A little crisp though on this part, but that's a given. And that's it for the room tour. Let's go check out the rest of the hotel. This is the pool area. Nice and calm, really warm in here. They got towels down here as well. There's a gym area. The gym looks pretty well equipped, quite frankly, and they did a good job on it. 
They got all kinds of weights. So, decent equipment's in good shape. And this still has a hot tub, which like I said, a lot of hotels now are trying to get away from for insurance reasons. And cleanliness reasons too. And they do actually have a deep end as well, which is nice. Looks pretty good, well kept. Nice and clean in here, floor's dry.